In this video we're going to look at setting up the default settings inside Bobcam. If we come here to the Bobcam tab under Cam Part, if we look at both milling and turning tools when we right click we have an option called Current Settings. Current Settings contains the machine make and machine model and some settings like your maximum spindle speeds, cut, cutting feed rates, the path for the NC file or where it posts to, the file extension used for code being output, as well as some other settings, the default post processor. And the same is true for turning. If we right click and go to current settings, we could see our machine make and model, the NC file path, the post being used, and some other information. Now to set up the defaults for the for what gets started when you first launch the system is going to be the first machine that's in the tab in the list of drop downs. Also this list of machines is a user defined list. To change this or to set this up you'll need to close out of SolidWorks or close out of the Bobcam plugin and then go to your Windows start menu. We'll then go to All Programs and then locate your Bobcam folder. Under your Bobcam folder, you'll see that there's a lathe machine set up and a milling machine set up. Let's go ahead and choose the milling machine set up. When this comes up, you could see that there's some buttons to add machine and add models. Let's go ahead and add our own custom machine. Let's add one. And we'll see that we get a new machine and a new model. Say if we had multiple models, I may add another model, and then I have two new models. You can also remove machines from this list. If we only want our own custom setup machine, we can come in and remove all of the other machines that are set up in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm left only with my new machine and new models. We can set our units, then we'll come over here to settings. And this is where we can rename these items. Let's call this a Haas. And our model will be VF1. We could select our post processor or the default post. There's a Haas VF post. We'll choose open. And we could specify things like whether or not if we use the cutting conditions in which file we use the NC file path. Uh, one thing that is important, the NC file path needs to be located outside of your program files folder or at least somewhere you have full write access, either your C drive or your documents folder. So let's go ahead and use our documents folder. I'll go to libraries, documents, and I'll choose my documents. Choose OK. We'll set up our maximum spindle speed and our maximum feed rate. Whether or not if we use sub-programs, we'll go ahead and choose save. This is enough information. We'll come back to our machines. Let's choose our other model. And we call this one a mini mill. Now let's say that the difference on this one is not the post processor, but just the maximum spindle speed. Let's say that this one is 15,000. Our feed rate's 500. So you can make individual changes for your machine file as well. We'll choose our post processor again. We'll choose save and then close this window. Now when we launch our SolidWorks again, create a new file and come back to our Bobcam tab. We'll see when we come to our milling tools and go to our current settings. Now we have our Haas Mini Mill and our Haas VF1, the items that we've set up. And this changes the post processor as well as most of these other settings as we change the machine type. Also, since the Haas Mini Mill was the first in the list, this is the default post processor that will be set when we first launch the software. The same will need to be done for turning. Now, if you set these up, this will save you the time of having to come in and reselect the post 
and reset up the current settings every time that you make a part. So it's very important, one of the first things that you do is you close out of the Bobcam plugin or close out of SolidWorks, come to the Start menu, All Programs, Bobcam, and then set up your milling machine and set up your lathe machine. And this will enable you to set the defaults inside of the system. And that concludes this video.